right even before I came here, I was thinking about maybe going to the game industry because it seems like a place where you can take almost anything you know and just make something that other people will enjoy, make something more interactive. Before, I just played games. I didn't really know what went into them and what kind of stuff you needed to do to uh, make games. They're getting so much training and programming and art that m normal students out of high school never even get near. This looks fun. I want to do this. And it, it seems like the like really appropriate synthesis for my skills because like I'm a photographer, but I've also taken three years of computer science. The subjects in school that you think aren't important are important. You can't just blow off biology because you need to know biology. Drawing matters. Everything matters. You need to pay attention. And I want to pass that on. I've never seen a program that was just six weeks of video games. It sounded really cool. And here at the ETC, there are so many input devices that the students can work on, and so many that we're getting in every other week. It's like, hey, we have a new toy, let's play with it. And they get that opportunity here, whereas most other places, they don't have that opportunity. I love all the equipment they let us use in the programs. Like, the cave is really awesome, and I love 3DS Max, and hopefully I'll be trying out ZBrush soon, so that'll be really cool. As far as I'm concerned, there aren't any other programs that are even that it can even compete with this one. It shows us uh, what like, our uh, future employers will be, what they'll be expecting from us, and how this industry differs from other industries. In the game industry, it's all about teamwork. The designers have to create the world for the artists to create, the artists have to create the world for the programmers to implement, and it's just a constant going back and forth. Also, we give them an improvisational acting course, which is the fundamentals that the ETC teaches to its graduate students, and we treat them as if they were an actual project being developed. So the students work with a producer and all the skill sets that they need underneath. I learned a lot about game theory. I learned about game design, art design, uh, implementing art, implementing program. And that basically, I guess, like going back to the Game Academy's core teaching point, that uh, it's a lot harder than it looks. But what's being asked of us as students is so much more than what we're, what we're used to being asked of in high school. Because we don't just learn stuff here, we actually have to apply what we've learned. It's, it's a good challenge and we're, we are learning a lot. I am originally a gamer, obviously, since pretty much birth. Uh, I grew up with Mario as my dad and Sonic as my mother. They're big kids, really, like they never grew up. They can always understand you at your level even when they're pushing you really hard and saying, no, you can get this done. There's a lot of interesting faculty. I think they're all great. They all know exactly what they're doing and they can help you with pretty much anything you need help with. They have almost constant one-on-one -on -one interaction with all of the teachers here. The way they taught us and this, their behavior in general, it's, 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 it's really refreshing. And they're, they're also really nice people, so that's good. It's certainly easy to make friends because you can see that they're just, they're as new as you are. They're coming in from who knows where, not knowing anybody, and everyone wants to make friends. You've probably played some of the same games, you know about the same people, you've, you're interested in the same companies. So it's not just about the teamwork and having fun getting away from home for the summer, it's about building future connections. Like I remember talking to uh, an electrical engineering student about like wire techniques, and then I talked to her like about circuitry, and it was just like, oh, that's cool. And then I talked to a music kid who like wakes up every morning at like six o'clock to go into the practice room and start playing piano. So it was really like getting to know people without any formalities. And I think pre-college really does a good job about that. Carnegie Mellon has shown to me that it's a place where you can do literally anything. If you want to really ex uh, explore with state-of-the-art technology and with uh, just like, kind of like really brilliant minds and really brilliant uh, concepts, the Game Academy is definitely a place where you can take what you know and like do cartwheels with it. You should attend this program because you get to meet people from across the world and it really, really tells you what you need to get into the industry. Here's how you make a game. Here's what I've done in my life. Here's what I've learned about the world of making games. That's something that I think the ETC and the NHSGA give them that I think a lot of programs really wish they could give.